everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton because we want to talk to you about winter accessories and winter gear and what to use when you have dogs and it's winter and you want to take them outside for walks or to play. So we have a lot of accessories here that we think are really great quality and we're really excited to share these with you. Okay, so first and foremost, the most important thing is to always be careful with your pet when you go outside. What I mean by that is that Milton, for example, gets really cold very, very fast outside in the winter. And I can't stress this enough because when you see your dog shivering or walking weird on three paws and like kind of lifting their paws up, that's a good sign for you that they're too cold. And always try to get some accessories for them to dress them up. Even if they have fur, even if they seem like they're warmer than us, they're actually not. Herky is much more tolerant to cold than Milton is. But we always still like to keep her warm just to keep her safe and we want to avoid any frostbites and any injuries. Especially uh, when it's icy outside, you really should be careful with salt and cuts on their paws as well because if there's ice then they can get injured so it's not always for warmth only. So speaking of, the first thing I want to talk about is boots and a lot of boots often fall off but we found two pairs that really work well for us. The first is from Go Fresh Pet and it's the All Terrain Booties. These are Milton's pairs and Herky has some as well. These are great protection for the winter, for the paws, for outside, even for fall when it starts to get wet and stuff. This lower part here is actually waterproof and the upper part here is fabric so it keeps their paws and their legs warm and you get a, a strap here that's adjustable and when you get boots make sure that you get a small size the dog can't float in the boot or else that's when the boots are gonna fall off and you want to make sure that this here is really tightened very well so that your dog can't lose the boot on the walk these also have some anti-grip on the bottom here I'll say that these when it's super super cold out are not that great because the lower part here gets cold so it doesn't work as anti-grip anymore but for milder winter temperatures I can be okay with these and another trick to keep make sure that these kind of boots stay on is we discovered that wearing leg warmers actually adds a layer of grip on their paws so this is Milton's pair as you can see they're really small and you slip these on and they kind of go on the paw like this and then this is going to actually help the boots stay on since it's going to grip on this instead of their fur and plus they look really cute and the other pair of boots that we think are so great are the mudlucks these are much more expensive but they're really worth it again make sure that these are the right size i initially got this size the extra extra small for milton but it's too big and it actually fits herky perfectly so as you can see it's a good indication of how small you have to go herky is an extra extra small so these, again, they have the adhesive strip here and plus it has a reflective band so it can keep your pets safe. The elastic here is really high quality, it's super durable, it stretches and it stays on. Make sure when you put these on that the dog's paw goes all the way to the front of the boot and it's really, really tightly on and then again, you have to tighten the strap really well so that the boot doesn't come off your dog's legs. These are much more heavy duty. You can wear these when it's minus 20 outside, like today it's minus 20 and we went outside with these today. Herky did not show one sign of cold, plus they have a really nice quality suede underneath. These are a recent find and we really, really like these. And now for coats. Make sure that you get something for your dog that covers their body at least. Milton gets super cold so that's why I add leg warmers and boots just to cover her up a bit more. We have two that we have for her that we use and they're really high quality, they're thick, they have an underlayer of wool-like material and the exterior of this one here is actually waterproof too. The hood is just really an extra, it's just cute, it's removable but it has no really real purpose. I find that it never really stays on their head. A lot of dog coats do have the hoods but they never really serve a purpose other than it's cute. So this one is from the brand Doggy Q and it looks like this. It's really nice. It has adjustable little straps here in the back and uh, you can tighten it on their body so that it's not loose and it doesn't they don't lose any body heat when they wear it. Then again, these is like it kind of fits like a bomber on them. So all their legs are exposed. So this offers some warmth, but it's not optimal. This is what we put on Milton when we go outside. She doesn't really stay outside more than 10-15 minutes anyway, so this does the trick. Another coat we have for Milton is this one here. Again, it's the same. You have a little strap that keeps the hood up because if you don't put it up like this, it goes in her face and then she can't see. This is navy, it's basically the same principle. It has the adjustable straps in the end 
and the hood is not removable on this one, but I think it's really cute and navy. For Herky, what we have is, we have two of them that we're using this winter. The first one is this, it just has two adjustable straps. One goes on her chest here and one goes on her stomach underneath. This again has the adjustable strap on the end and what I really like about this jacket in particular, you can put the hood back like this, but this is actually expandable. So it's a material that stretches with your dog, so it really, really hugs them and it fits really perfectly. So I love this coat. It's really cute too, it's really high quality. This feels a bit waterproof too on the outside, so when it's snow or there's wet snow, uh, you can be sure that your dog's back is gonna stay dry. So this was from Go Fresh Pet, and this was Chloe and Cluzo. And last but not least, this is such a recent discovery. We just have one for Herky so far because Milton, she doesn't stay outside really long and Milton doesn't have fur yet, so she doesn't really need it so far. But this is a four-legged custom suit that Herky has. And as you can see, this is perfect and I'll tell you why. Herky has a lot of fur on her chest now and on her legs. So every time we go outside and there's snow, there's these huge snowballs that form everywhere on her body. And when we go inside, the only way to get them off is to actually put her in the shower in order to melt the snowballs. And it, it's just such a long process that this really helps. It covers everything on her body except her tail and her head. And, and the tip of her paws, obviously, but it is such a lifesaver and a game changer for us because um, her legs are completely covered, so there's nothing that can gather up some snow around her legs. I'll link the information down below if you're interested, but this is a custom-made suit. You can choose your fabric, and it has an elastic on the butt part here, and it's, it's such a great suit. It's smaller and tapered on the end where the wrists would be, I guess. And then on the neck here, it's it's stretchy and it's so warm. Well, this is a recent discovery and we absolutely love it. We'll have one done for Milton next year, but so far since she, do, she doesn't spend much time outside and she doesn't have a problem with snowballs, then we don't get her that yet. So that was it for our video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are items that we use on a daily basis and it's really important to keep your pets warm and safe in the winter. You want to prevent injuries and you want to keep them warm and happy and also cute. I find that these items are super cute and they're actually useful too, so that's perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. We love you very much and we'll see you soon. Bye.